It is an enchanting city indeed. Bangkok, capital of Thailand, with so much to see and do here, with the wonderful people, fantastic food, and also amazing facilities like this one here, the Impact Arena in the northern suburb of Bangkok. It is one of the biggest of its kind in Asia, massive convention and exhibition arena and area, a sprawling complex. And it also happens to be the host venue of the Total Energies BWF Thomason Uber Cup Finals 2022. We are to the final day of the group stages, would you believe it? It has been thick and fast, the action. And uh, tomorrow onwards will be the knockout rounds. The best of the best go into the quarterfinals. And uh, that will be followed on Friday by the semi-finals of effectively what is the World Team Championships. Uh, Uber Cup Finals will be on Saturday. That's for the women. And the men will contest, the best two countries will contest the Thomas Cup Finals on Sunday. A reminder that it is uh, 16 nations in either competition. Uh, right now, we are focusing on the Uber Cup Finals 2022. Those are your 16 countries divided into four groups of four. And the top two from each group will advance to those quarterfinals. And that is uh, basically where we're at right now uh, with Group D in the final round of matches coming up. Korea and India are top with uh, by virtue of winning both of their matches. Uh, Korea have edged proceedings. They have won more matches and games. So they're ahead of India. Canada just ahead of the United States to complete the top four. But uh, already confirmed that Korea and India will go through. Now, uh, those two countries indeed will be squaring off shortly here on court two. And the uh, winner will be top of the table and seeded for the knockout rounds. We then turn our attention to the men in the afternoon onwards. Uh, Thomas Cup, Chinese Taipei take on India. That's at two o'clock local time. And finally, at 7 p.m., the, the uh, Japanese men will take on Malaysia. As is uh, customary, before we get proceedings underway, the teams will do a little huddle. And uh, it's always a little bit of fun. There are big smiles all around. It's just a nice way uh, to promote team bonding and Total get them psyched energy. up before BWF the big matches. And Uber Cup so this is the lineup then Upstate. for the first match here on court two. Korea versus India, Ansu Young and PV Sundar. That's a blockbuster One, clash, one. isn't it? to get Uber us Cup underway. Uh, then, the as always, single. we will alternate between singles and doubles, or almost always. Lee so he and Shin Shung Chan will be up against Shruti Mishra and Simran Singhi. Back to the singles, Kim Garten and uh, Akashi Kashyap will be playing each other before Kim Hai Jong and Kong Hee Yong will square up against Tanisha Krasto and Trisha Jolly. Remember, all five matches need to be played. So it could be an interesting one. It might come down to this fifth and final match, the singles, Sim Yujin and Ashmita Chaliha. Ampa, Kang Sun -yong from Korea. Four courts so are required for so many matches, but here on court two, it is undoubtedly one of the big clashes of the Uber Cup as Korea's An Se Young takes on P. V. Sindhu of India. These two are long-time rivals. They have the first single. Really had a good, good competition against each other, but head-to-head -head favors one very clearly over the other. And we'll talk about that in a short while. Here is Ansa Young, who's no longer a teenager. We've been referring to her for that for years, haven't we? She India, just turned 20 a couple months ago. Well, what a player she is. Was part of the Uber Cup team with Korea that won the bronze in 2018 and 2020. And up against her is PV Sindhu. Another superb player from the USA. who is a former world champion in 2019. And also has won the bronze medal for India in the Uber Cup in 2014 and 2016. Of course, also an Olympic medalist, a silver in Rio and a bronze in Tokyo. On court three. 
has a silver in the Asian Games as well. So she's a reigning Asian Games uh, silver medalist. That will be postponed. So she'll be the silver medalist for a little bit longer. World Championships, she's had a good relationship with that one. Done well, silver in 2017 and 18, a bronze in 2013 and 14. Now, the toss. Uh, for those who may not be aware, rise out on the head-to-head -head because it is perhaps a little bit surprising. If you're not uh, necessarily following that sort of thing, but it is certainly one-way traffic at the moment. Anzi Young is an unflappable customer. when needed. But really, such a great player. That's four. PV Sindhu, graceful player. Just that height to advantage, powerful shots. That's young, just 20 years of age, 170 centimeters tall. Playing at the highest ranking of fourth. From this south, then Guangzhou. Where the Korean Masters was held recently in Tokyo, Korea. That's where the last time these two have played. But she is certainly one many feel that will start to win the big prizes. She did play against the United States and actually had uh, a tougher time against Michelle than many would have thought, especially in that first game. But uh, disposed of her in just under 40 minutes. Now, PV Sindhu, 26 years of age, 179 centimeters tall, so she's tall. And she currently seventh in the world, and she has had a high of second. That was about five years ago. The south of India, Hyderabad. The Commonwealth Games gold medal in 2018. She will, uh, she will look to defend that this year. Won the silver in uh, 2018 and a bronze in 2014. She's played both matches, uh, defeating Michelle Lee as well in 33 minutes and Jenny Guy of the United States in 26 minutes. Relatively straightforward for her so far. Now, she hadn't won anything infamously for a number of years, PV Sindhu. Philip Ayong Chi from uh, the United States in charge of this one. When you look at a record in the BWF World Tour, Roberto's Tommy Oscariano from Indonesia, the service judge. Uh, PV Sindhu, she won the BWF World Tour finals in 2018. And it was this year where she's taken two titles, the side mode international Swiss Open, most super 300s. Her coach said, it's time to go start winning things, doesn't matter but what grade they are, just get to that winning habit, and I think that's really helped her. When it was under the Super Series, she won the China Open in 2016 and the India Open and Korea Open in 2017. Under the Grand Prix as well, Malaysia Grand Prix Gold, Macau Open, that was in 2013. In 2014, 15, 16, and 17, got two Macau Opens, Malaysia Masters, and side Modi International. So yeah, it was under the World Tour that she just seemed to struggle for a little while, but now back into that winning habit. As for Ansa Young. So she's. Won nine titles on the BWF World Tour. Most recently, the Korea Open. On the way, she defeated PV Sindhu. She also won the World Tour Finals, defeating PV Sindhu in the final. Indonesia Open last year. That's a Super 1000, a massive event, beating Ratchanok Intanon. And the Indonesia Masters, another 750, she beat Akane Yamaguchi. Great record against the big names. But yes, that head to head, I was uh, telling you about. It is all in favor 
of Ansa Yam. She's won all four of their matches, and she's won them in two games. Straight games victories over her opponent. And this has uh, been much talked about in badminton circles. How Peterson has not been able to beat her opponent. And could this be the first time? Could the history be made here? Remember, they're battling for top spot and a seated position in the quarterfinals. Represented by Kusala V. Sindhu. And on my left, Korea. Represented by Ansi Young. Korea to serve. Love all play. First point board there for Ansu Young. Uh, just very languid in a style of it. Such great court coverage. Very, very confident player. So they played off in the Korea Open recently, which uh, I had a bird's eye view of, and Hitsu Young was imperious in that. 21 14, 21 17. That was the longest match they'd ever played, though, 48 minutes. Inside the line. So just gambling on that one. Yeah, clearly in the end. This is certainly one of the big clashes here at the Uber Cup. These two. Inside the lines. Three, two. Really, really a very good experience team overall. Could be simply leading the way. I'm sorry, we're all here. Four, two. So it's important that she gets them up to as good a start as possible. Extend the lead, not taken by Ansu Young. Successful. 
one challenge remaining. Five, four, play. That's a great, great shot. Service over. Was playing on to Young, both sides of the court, stretching up. And then cross court again, took it quickly. Five. In front here, PV Sindhu. from her in that fashion. Service over. Six, for it. Eight. To narrow that gap as soon as possible. Call to turn the shuttle a little more gracefully. Better for Nancy up into that corner, no chance for PV Sindhu. to that and he's drawn her opponent closer to the net good work service over nine seven from Sindhu Again, it's a decent lead here, isn't it, for Sindhu? She's really happy with this. Remember, individual card, Parte Sang. Some words, of course, she's not here right now, not the coach. On the uh, national side, but. 11 7 interval. And that's a very good start here for Sindhu. She's got a four point lead. Be onto something special here at the Uber Cup. Seven. So Play. good momentum at the moment with PV Sindhu. 
Can she sustain it though? at the moment from Cindy. Well, interesting because it's another very good point for Sindhu. At the moment, she's been playing the, the waiting game. Very patient. Whereas you can see that Cindy at the moment is playing all hurried strokes, but it's working. She's pushing her opponent, she's pushing her to be. She's forcing her to be reactive. Five point lead at this stage is very good here for Cindy. Well, this, it was a quick shot again, very quick whipping it back from uh, Cindy. It's a wonderful return, wasn't it? Look at that. Just cushion that beautifully. Been challenged. India challenges. Immediately by PB Sindhu. I think that was probably out. Very tight, challenge but it is indeed successful. One challenge successful from Sindhu. A couple of good points here for An. It's only three now between them. Good recovery. That should be out. Now. Now that pressure might start 11, to be applied. 13. To Sindhu. Fascinating this battle, isn't it? I saw the little mind games being played as well. 11 and 13. Put it there. Yeah. And she does at the second time of asking. A big roar Ready from Sindhu. 14, 11. We need to have far more on that clear from Anse Young. Looking for Sindhu to put away. That 
is a glorious Scott, isn't it? From Ansio. She's not had that many winners today. 12 14. And she's this kind of shot she's put them perfectly. Coming into that corner. Fantastic winners for Anne, and she's now 14, within a point of her rival. Uh, so playing that waiting game, watchful. And just picks a moment. You can hear the shouts of India from the supporters, the Indian team, trying to rouse Sindhu. Remember, had a five point lead. And immediately dispatches that for the turn of the serve. Very 15, nicely done. 13. She cannot allow Nancy Young to get close. Sindhu, and that was more the patient game that we see. Let's see up. Waiting for the error to be committed. 15. So far, Hansen's had seven. She's outscoring her opponent since the interval, 7-4. 38 shots, uh, that was the longest rally we've had. And they're all square. And that might be a little turning point for Anne now. Oh. Shot of the head there from uh, Sindhu. And she's in the lead. Tremendous. From Ansa Young to turn that around. 15. She will feel a lot better about that now. No pressure, certainly. And Sindhu, something she's always best at dealing with. That's a very good shot, isn't it? And a pumped fist from Ann. 17. It's about as much reaction as you get during a match afterwards. She does let go at times. Saw her in uh, Korea at the Open when she won. She really played up to the crowd at the end. They loved it and lapped it up. She's really in the zone at the moment. Thank you. Yeah, she's feeling good now. She's under pressure, there's no doubt about it. Sindhu had a good lead on her. 
She's weathered that storm for now, anyway. 17, 15. There's still more in this game. Three is the magic number 18. here. Answer Young, three ahead of her opponent. Three away from winning this first game. <laughs> On a roll. I think it's safe to say. 19-15. She's been picking off these points. Just at will almost. Well, she has to just challenge, isn't she, at this point? Challenges called out. But we'll see. And it is certainly out. Challenge unsuccessful. No challenges remaining. Well, well. That is 20, trouble now. Look at that. Game Five points, game points. Play. in a row. Fantastic. Game. game. And it's game a wonderful, this is a really good performance from Ansa Young. Cannot stress how well she has played here. She's won eight in a row. She was 13-15 down. She was, she had a five point deficit at one stage and she has played it superbly once again against PV Sindhu. 21-15 that first game. Great start here for Ansa Young and Korea. These are two proud nations in the Uber Cup. Second game, the ball. Play. Korea. Uh, a lot of experience here. Last, last game behind that, Sindhu. Sometimes I can just, uh, I think I just get to her. So I'm really be very d happy with how she's love. approached that. Career played in the Uber Cup 20 times now. India have uh, been here eight times. And, uh, Korea have 
Excellent time, really, in the Yuba Cup. P.V. Sindhu. Yeah, statistically, Korea, the, uh, the best performing nation at the Uber Cup. here for Sindhu. Incredible how she reeled off eight in a row like that. That's a young in the last game. See a little bit of reaction there from uh, Seven, three. Ann. Just a wry smile, but she is now four behind. She likes a bit of a challenge, doesn't she? That's not phase too much. She had a five-point deficit, which she whittled down. Oh, she's completely missed that one. It's an air shot. Now, was she trying to be cute there? Thinking that was going to go out. I don't think so. I think she has completely misjudged that. Yeah, it's just the reaction. It's well in as well. She can't quite believe that one. And now it is indeed five points. And that doesn't last too long, that lead. It's down to four. Take the opportunity. That was a good one. Cindy was scrambling to get that. Yeah, had that gone over, she probably would have got the point there. And back to five. Again, doesn't last long. That five point lead. Sindhu is going to challenge. Again, that seemed a little bit hesitant. Challenge. Sure. 
probably worth an ask. And it's in. Well, very, very quickly, that five-point lead is now down to two. Seven, nine. Play. Judge as well, so thought that might go out. Sindhu. Eight, nine. On a roll again. Five points. Not a big deal. Two. Let's play it. And see ya. Poovy being told to behave herself. <laughs> and she smashes the left off the Frustrated, you can understand that. We're talking about her getting a little bit flustered in these sort of situations. Everyone deals with it in a different way. Five points in a row. Excellent. So young. Tumbles over. It's all going her way at the moment. Onto the net, dancing on that little line and no chance for Sindhu. This will give you a good view of it. Well, incredible. This has been a very, very polished performance. Oh, it's a big challenge. I thought that was going to be clearly out, but uh, I'm about to say goes into the break that Hansi Young, but she is using up her challenges now. People still do. that was in. Certainly out. No challenges left. Challenge unsuccessful. No challenges remaining. Well, Sindhu. Six on the trot. Four and so young. Brilliant. Again. For this young player. Bangkok in this very venue, and they go a little bit better here. Now that's what she was doing well at one point in the first game, just forcing the progress, forcing the pace of the game. And quick shots. And aggressive.
Service head down over on knees at the moment. 12, 10. Fantastic symbol at the moment. Well, I know we're focusing here on uh, this court, but it's been a superb result. Round number one, Akani Yamaguchi has just been beaten by a relative unknown in Indonesia, Vilkas, her sister next door just explains the noise next to us fantastic result and here at the moment in court two 12 10. that's a young in front against pb sindhu it's not something we say a lot in badminton really and the lead extends to three 10. Effortless, isn't it, from Anse Young? 14, 10. And she has barely looked back since the... She mounted that fight back. She has... Only lost one point in the last nine. A tremendous run from her. 15 10. Got down well, but not this time. That's better from PV. So, in the last 13 points that have been played, Ansi Young has won 11 of them. Sindhu has won just two. She's got long stretches. Didn't go over. Service over. 16-11. Well, it is uh, really now or never, isn't it? Because she's five away from her opponent who also just needs five points to finish this off. For her first Korea. challenge here, represented by Nancy Young. 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 Sindhu needs to put on the kind of run that we saw from Ansa Young in the previous game where she reeled off eight in a row. She had a very good run here where she had seven in a row, so she's put on some really good runs, Ansa Young. And that's what Sindhu needs. She had five in a row here in this game and just three in the last. So she used to have a sustained run of points here to really put the pressure on. She's not going to help her. That's better. That's what I was set. This time, didn't really spring up like she normally does. Service over. 
13, 17. Versus Germany, represented by Linda Eker and Dior. Four needed Kuchowski. by Sindhu to level things. Four needed by and so Young to end Ampa, this match. Steve Galway from India. So Richard, for Indies from the USA. The spot beautifully. And so young. Service over. 18, 13. Exquisite, exquisite from Ansa Young. Of the last 19 points, she's won 15 of them. Just four have gone to Sindhu. And remember, she was 9-5 up. 9-4 up, I should say. Just brilliant from Ansa Young, who's now looking to wrap things up. And she's got seven 20, match points. Match point 13. Answer Young on the brink here. Oh. One point saved. Over 14, 20. There you go, that's what she does, she lets it all out at the end. Another great result for Ansa Young, who continues this hoodoo Korea, over PV Sindhu. 15, she wins in straight games once again, as she has done in all four previous occasions. Excellent from Ansa Young. And Sindhu, in both games, had her opportunity. She had five-point leads in both. And in both occasions, An Young rallied back superbly and put on great runs of points to move past her opponent. Look at that and what it means to her. An excellent performance from An Young once again. That's five wins out of five against PV Sindhu. She wins here 21-15, 21-14 in 42 minutes of exhilarating badminton. Well, catch a breath and get ready for more Uber Cup action. It's women's doubles next between Korea and India.
So uh, this is how things look in the first session here, order of play between Korea and India. An Siang has just played a brilliant match against PV Sindhu and won actually quite convincingly in the end. And now let's see what happens in the rest of this match, uh, this tie. We're into the doubles now. Lee Sohee and Shin Chung Chan up against Shruti Mishra and Simran Singhi. India don't quite have the depth that perhaps beyond Sindhu. It's a strong lineup here for the Koreans. Lee So Hee and Shin Seung Chan the first double of Korea up against Shruti Mishra and Simran Singhi of India. So the Koreans come out first. Versus India, represented by Sharuti Misra and Shimran Singhi. Lee So Hee. And the winner of the All England. Umpire, Reza Roshan Omid from Iran. Serving judge, Jenny Lin Kundan from Philippines. She won a Sylvia in 2016 and the bronze in 2020. So Gamer Cup has a gold from 2017. World Championship partners, these two, they finished second last year. Just a wonderful pair. Nation Championships, a couple of bronzes as well. Mixed team championships, silver in 2017. Asia team championships, silver in 2022. Bronzes in 2016 and 2018. And the Indian players certainly have their work cut out. With Sin Chung Chan, they've won uh, four titles together. Lee So Hee. Most recently, the French Open last year. And the BWF World Tour Finals in 2020. Beating the very famous Kim and Kong both times. Shin Sung Chan is a bronze medal winner from the Rio Olympic Games. And she was with uh, Jung Kyung Yun then, back then. World Championships, as I said, silver medal there. So it'll be a tough old match for the Indian players. First meeting between these pairs. Still a very new Shruti Mishra to all of this. Singhi is the more senior of the two in that sense. Lee Sohi, 27, 171 centimeters tall. Playing uh, the best ranking as of right now. Also with Chang Yuna from Ulsa as well. Her partner, Lee or Shin Chung Chan, is uh, 27, 172 centimeters tall from Jolabukdo and is her highest ranking as well. Number two pair in the world. This is the strength that they've got. Did play against Canada. Beat Corbett and Lee very easily in just 28 minutes. Now, what about their opponents? Shruti Mishra, 19 years of age, from uh, Northern India, Lucknow, 159 centimetres tall. Her highest rank is 276 with uh, another player, Sanagita Chopade. We can't ship this one. Simran Singhi, 20. Blade, blade. 167 centimetres tall from Western India, Mumbai. Her highest rank is 76 with the gut. So it's a relatively inexperienced pair, and they haven't really played much together. So it's going to be tough. 
left in play against the United States. And, uh, a bit of a tough time against Honduras and Sai in the first game, but won the second one fairly easily. Reza Russian amid the Iranian umpire. John Lin to Fundal from the Philippines, the service judge. So they're going to have a work cut out for them, this doubles pair from India. Let's give an idea. Shin and So played. 349 matches together coming into this tournament. 246 wins, 103 losses. Ladies and gentlemen, this year they've played eight, eight one, five, lost three. Shorty Mishra and Simran Singh. Eight, and on my left, Korea, represented by Shik Sung Chin and E. Suhi. Korea to serve, E. Suhi. Shorty Mishra. Bob on. Play. Rally to kick things off. Doubles, 50 matches played, 24 wins, 26 losses. So very so delicately played. from the hey. Indian pair. Singhi's just talking about Singhi's record. This was played very little bad at this level yet. We have the lead at the moment. Yeah, Shruti Mishra has played uh, Four, just 19 two. matches at this level. Eight wins, 11 losses. But had a good 2021. 2022, excuse me. Four wins out of five so far. Stop contrast for a partner. With one out of five. Ten, four. Three, four. Great work 
from Shin in the drop. Diving in despair. Odisha Obum, she's a Super 100. She was partnered with, uh, again, Sanagita Gorpade, and they got to the round of 32. I'm oh, sorry, the final, I say, excuse me, but lost to Teresa Jolly and Gachi Gopachampulela. Teresa Jolly is here in India as well. She'll be playing later. Credit there. Thank you. Quite tenacious here. Five. In the bear. We're in front at the moment. So yeah, this level right now, that's a pretty decent year for Fuji Mission for taking the title. Mishra. Seven, five. Simon Singhi played in the India Open and got to the round of 16 in the women's doubles. Easy finish. Mori International, she's got the round of 16. Let's do Teresa Jolly again. Eight, five. And Gertrude Gopchant Pulela. And the Odisha Open. And that match was cancelled. Got to the quarterfinals of the Iran Fajr International Challenge with Ruth Kataka. Travel Asia Championships. Mr. Palitano from the Muritara of Malaysia. And that lead has suddenly grown to four for the Koreans. This is where they've started to accelerate. Big tournaments. German Open, they got to the round of 16. 
All England, they got to the quarterfinals. Surprising losing to Teresa Jolie and Gaiji Gopachan Palela. That was a big surprise. Perhaps some inspiration for this Indian pair today. Now 11-5 up. Hasn't been a fantastic year for me and Shin. Having been bundled out the quarterfinals by much lower ranked opponents in the recent Asia Championships. So they're hoping to make things good here. And right now they're looking very good. So one thing is important is if they lift the ball, Lift it high and stand ready. Okay. Not cross if you're under pressure. Keep it straight. That was a bright start for Mishra and Singhi, but William Shin have just shown their quality in the latter stages of that first half of game one. Let's see how the second half goes. All of them, didn't it? Six, in the end, but it's actually turned out to be quite a good shot. Grown to seven, and the problems mounting here for the Indian pair. themselves.
throw. There's a lot more than that, though. Surely try to take. That makes him feel comfortable. Succession of shots. Mishra, I should say. She could quite believe it, there, Shin. Good at the net. This time Shin gets and really there effectively. And we're not far away from wrapping this first game up now. Oh, something quite dramatic. Clipping the top of the tape there, the net. Oh shit. This is the trap that uh, Korea have. Got 10 players in all departments. That's a good winner, isn't it, from Mishra? Oh, he, oh, good, good run 19. here. that wide. Eight game Eight points goal. now for the Koreans. Four one. Thank you. 
Quite both five records of winning that once before. Good finish to what's been a fairly clinical first game for the Koreans. It was a good start from the Indian pair. They couldn't sustain it. And the Koreans win the first game 21-13. So we'll need an improvement here from the Indians if they want to stay in this. Second game, love all. Hey, oh. position though in the Korean team. So the where they have the issue is to try and seven stop. One a run of points. Not something they've really managed to do too much of. The best one was three points in a row in game one. In contrast of the Koreans who reeled off seven on the trot. Those three points they got, by the way, was near the start of the game. Game one. we've had so far and uh, generally those will go the way of the more experienced pair generally 
This could be the first of single edge of the net. Point lead now, the Koreans. Going on, it's the Five. Indians who won the point. Oh. As I said, it's about sustaining this. That's something they've been struggling to do. Gets to about five points or so, it gets very difficult for them to lead the deficit. Then for the Indians, they've got to keep pace with their opponents as much as possible. sudden it's moved to five points Eight, now this is going to get tough three. That's a very good shot right across the court. Singhi, she saw that space and exploited it. Five, eight. Both of them were on the, uh, on the right side of the court. So there's a lot of court to aim at. And then to their credit, they've whittled that down to three now, the Indians. Two very good shots there. This time it's Shin. Big two. Eight. Much better from the Indians. Just suggested it to her. So I played competitively in 2013. She's in the most memorable matches in the Asian Championships.
on both of them. Seven, ten. Chung took up the sport at the age of ten. Started playing competitively in 2013. Very nicely done at the net from Shin with the drop. Or rather, Misha threw us off at that to no avail. And the Koreans have a four point lead in the second game interval. Yeah, Sitchin Chung had said that uh, her most memorable sporting achievement is a uh, Denmark Open in 2015. Play. Which she won with her former partner, Jung Kyun Un. That's her first big one there. TUC final, the Yuba Cup final against China in 2015 was a most memorable match. <laughs> now this is the biggest lead they've had in this second game of Koreans, six Seven. points. Spot important for them. Coach approves. Still a massive six point gap, though. Oh, yeah. Long gaps between points at the moment. It's hard work out there. now of this first, second game potentially um, wrapping up the match the lead 
is now a whopping eight points. 68. There's the writing on the wall. It would appear to be so. Unless Mr. Siggy can do something quite dramatic here. Still a big learning curve for these Indian players. Thank you. Not very young after all. Hey, so he recently turned 20. Hey. Is, uh, 19. To go. 17, 8. So it's, uh, so the most experienced team selected for these championships. Finals. Snatching that one, shit. Turn to winning ways here. Three away now from wrapping this up. Lee and Shin to give Korea a 2 0 lead. A very comfortable position in this tie. That's a nice drop, isn't it? Had their moments. Singy with the shot there. Disguise on that one. To be in. I thought that might actually be out, but the Koreans have unsurprisingly challenged that one. Never a great way to end any match. Really. It's not a challenge, but of course it's a time to ask for that. Well, lots of match points, but that is in. One match point saved. One challenge remaining. Seven goals. Twelve. Twelve. Twenty. Play. A 
And they having the Koreans have won this match uh, very comfortably indeed overall. So good moments for the Indians. But, uh, certainly a golf in pedigree and experience, no doubt. And that has been uh, shown here quite starkly at times. And what was the favourites coming in? Lee and Shin. And they have shown their class once again. And they've really laid a marker out here. To, to be to, to watch at the moment. Lee Sohi and Shin Chung Chan have been Shruti Mishra and Simran Singh of India. 21-13, 21-12 in 39 minutes. And Korea now two up in the tie. Not far away from securing top spot. And they could potentially do it in the next match, in the singles. Kim ga versus Akashi Kashyap. That's up next. So right now we are in the midst of this tie between Korea and uh, India in the Uber Cup here on court two. And uh, it's been a very good performance so far from the Koreans. Uh, next is the second singles, Kim Ga Hoon versus Kashi Kashyap. And uh, we have two more matches after that. Remember, if Korea win this one, they have taken the tie and secured top spot in their group. It's up to Kim Ga Hoon and takes on India's Akashi Kasha. On paper, Uber Cup Group like D, the second single, Korea, the represented will be favorites. by Kim Ga Eun. It has followed the form book thus far. This is a lovely shot, a wide shot of the Impact Arena, all four courts in use at the moment. That'll start to change from tomorrow. Versus India, represented by and Akashi Kasha. There is Kim Ga Eun. What a fantastic player she is. Umpire, Roberto Tommy Oscariano from Indonesia. Servit Jat, Philip Ayongshi from the USA. She is uh, also an Uber Cup player from before. Uber Cup 2020, she won bronze. And uh, got a bronze in the Sudimera Cup in 2021. Asia Team Championships silver medal in 2020. Asia Mixed Team Championships silver medal in 2017. Finished third of the World Junior Championships in 2016. In terms of the BWF World Tour, she has won twice. Hyderabad Open in 2018 and the Ling Shui China Masters in 2019. Both Super 100s. She has finished runner up in the 300. That was the US Open, losing to Wang Ziyi. And one of her opponents, Akashi Kashyap. 
black or red? Red. You have the black one, okay? So far, her biggest achievement, a gold medal in the South you Asian Games in 2019. Say, to serve or receive? Has won at to serve. BWF International Challenge level, the Kenya International. And she was a teenager. But yeah, big uh, gulf in terms of rankings, which we'll see very shortly indeed. First meeting between these players. Kim Gang-un, 24, 172 centimeters tall. 19 is her current ranking. She was as high as 50. She's from Ulsan. She was 15 uh, a couple years ago. She did. Uh, Lose to Tung Wen Yu of Canada. It was a bit of a surprise that she beat Lauren Lam of the United States. So we're desperate to return to winning ways. Akashi Keshap is from Chattisgarh, 20 years of age, 170 centimeters tall. Current ranking is 54, the highest is 51st, so she's not far away from playing at her best. Someone new, which is an interesting contrast there in three, and also be Esther Shu from the United States. So she's won both her matches. Ready to play. Umpire Robertus Tommy Oscariano from uh, Indonesia. Service judge. Yeah, it's interesting. Kim Gahan was the only one who lost Ladies in and that gentlemen, match against Canada. Korea. On my right, India. Won all the other four by matches. Akashi Kasha. And on my left, Korea. Represented by Kim Gahan. India sir. Love all play. <laughs> Service over. Remember now, if India have any aspirations yeah. of they finish top of the group, they have to win this match. Easy <laughs> finish there for Kim. Two.
Two all. Good start here from Akashi. Yeah, these longer rallies, I mentioned this earlier, that they will Service tend to favour the Three. experienced players. Just a straight down shot, nicely done by Kim. 24 shots so far, the longest rally. still two matches played at this level and leaders moved to six. six not a particularly good two. start to the year seven matches played four wins three losses Half of three, yeah, it's not a terrible amount of magnitude, is it? That's good for Makashi. Yeah, Kim is, uh, she got to the semi finals of six. the Korea Open, lose to Ponpavi Chochuong in the semis. And in the Korean Masters, she lost in round of 60 to Herbing Chow. She's moving her opponent really well around the court at the moment, Kim. Seven over, seven, three. In the Championship, she lost to low ranked Putri Kusuma Wardani. She's a little bit of a surprise. Credit Akashi is keeping pace with her opponent. Yeah, this is good work from Akashi. <laughs> Pick that spot brilliantly, right in the far corner. This time, though, let's try to go on the same kind of shot. Seven over, six,
Yeah, he knew that she was in a vulnerable position there, Akashi. Service over. Nine, six. Kim exploited that very nicely. Oh, that looked in actually, and that's why Akashi is challenging. Challenges called out. Right, cool. the right side of this, let's have a look. Oh, it is out. Close. Challenge unsuccessful. While challenge remaining. She's picking those spots well, isn't she? Generally, Kim Dao. And at the interval, she has a five point lead in game one, Kim Dao. Talked about this lead, and uh, going up to six, it's going to be very difficult. So Kashi does something soon, and well, that will help. <laughs> Seven over. Uh, disappointing serve Seven. like that. Finish there for Kim. And six points again. And trouble here, Akashi. Out. It's not going her way at the moment. Sixteen. Eight. That's 
shot again from Kim, who's really in the zone at the moment. Seventy. Because she's uh, played 140 matches at this level, 87 wins, 53 defeats. So, good record there, but uh, Kashi not so good in 2022. Five wins out of 13. And that is it. It's all going Kim's way right now. 11-point lead. She's touching at the moment. It is working well 20, for eight. Kim. And she's got 12 game points here. Oh. That one does seem to be out. Yeah, because she got to the Indian Open. Semi-finals losing to Busan and Bangropan of Thailand. That was a good result. Then to the quarterfinals of Side Mord International. Losing in the first round of the German Open. Pull back a couple of points here. All English she lost in the first round to Michelle Lee. Swiss Open first round to Yvonne Lee. Both of them here at the Yuba Cup. And uh, then played the world number one, Akane Yamaguchi, and losing the first round of the Asian. Championships. Versus so Indonesia. Well enough in the open. And she's Eight. lost this first game here against Kim. First game oh. Korea. Had a very time of it overall. So we after the interval. 21-10 to the Korean. A lot of work to do for Akashi here if she wants to stay in this. Remember, India, they lose this match and the tie is over. Three, 
here for Kim. It's just uh, halted briefly. Point lead. Still playing in the 2009 at the age of eight. So playing by herself for the Bamenda Courts of the Steel Company. Service over. For the first win of all of the ranking tournament Four. in 2014. And then won a national title in 2015. Sixteen, you know, the British Political Academy in Bangalore, Bangalore. Seven over. Yeah, really seven to gain Five. traction there. Start representing India, under fifteen and under seventeen level. And she bagged the bronze. Junior Championships. She did play Sana Neval in November 2017. That put in the spotlight despite losing the match. She won the Senior All India Rugby Badminton Tournament 2018. So she really is an up and comer. And now it's on the international stage that she really wants to make her mark. And here she's trailing by five against Kim. Well, that's just very cool, calm and collected from Kim. Session of points at the moment from Kim Gatton. She's on a roll, five points in a row. Ten, two. Make it six. This is when she was four, two up. Seven in a row for Kim, and she goes into the interval in an even better position than in the last game. A nine-point lead, 11-2 up in game two, having already taken game one. Kashi. 
something to make this run of points. It was on seven. And immediately she hits back. This is the issue for Kashi. She's just not been able to put on a run herself. in this game. She's had two in the last game. Looking down in that last game, had eight points in the trot, so... Sustained effort from her, the Korean. Yeah, she's got one here, Let's see if she can build up some momentum. Clarify, I was wondering why Kim was asking for actually a change of shuttle rather than a challenge. Yeah, I was also wondering why on earth would she challenge that? It looked clearly out. It was actually just to say, I oh, want to change of shuttle. So it's two in a row here. Well, that's it's a start. And make that three. This is a bit better now. Six, 13. Finish from Akashi's improved. Seven, She's 14. outscoring Kim 5 2, 5 3, I should say, since the interval. So she'll be pleased with that. Point lead. Look at no as of now, academic for Kim. Five at the moment in favour of Akashi since the interval. But because the gap is so wide, she still has plenty to do here. Eight behind her opponent. And those sort of shots aren't helping her cause. Seven over, nine, 
Seven feet. Done well, to keep it alive, and not for long. Service over. Total from the last game, Akashi. Yes. Stand and deliver, really, from Kim. Well, she's almost there. Points now for Kim Gatton. And she does it easily. Kim Gatton, extremely clinical today. She's had a good match. And importantly, Korea have won this tie. And they've done it pretty easily, it has to be said. One of the favourites coming in, and they've underlined that in some style, haven't they? So well done there to Kim Gatman. Who continues the trend of winning in straight games today. She wins 21-10, 21-10 in half an hour. So we're going to have our fourth match now very shortly. The women's doubles, the second women's doubles here between Korea and India.
So Korea have won this uh, tie then against uh, India in the Uber Cup final group stage game. They will top the group, be seeded for the quarterfinals. Uh, and now it means these last two matches will be academic. And we're moving now to the second doubles match here. The second double, Korea, represented by It'll be Kim Hai Jong and Kong Ki Yong taking on Tanisha Krasto and Trisha, Trisha Jolly of India. So here come Kim and Kong. It's not the Kim and Kong that uh, many people often talk Versus about. India, represented oh, by fantastic Tanisha Krasto and Trisha Jolly. That is a different Kim and Kong. This one is uh, um, Kim Hai Jong and Kong from Hee Yong. The so Kim that you're thinking of perhaps is Reza Kim So Yong. From Iran. Still a formidable pair in their own right. Kim Hai Jong. Uh, won a bronze medal at the World Junior Championships on the World Tour. They have actually partnered both Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young in the past. He's won the Korea Open recently with Jong Naun. On four four. Weeks ago, the Thai sisters, the I'm Sides. It's our only win on the World Tour. Kang Hee Young, very accomplished player. Bronze medalist at the Tokyo Olympics. That was with Kim So Young, by the way. Has been with the Uber Cup twice. Won the bronze um, here in 2018 uh, and the bronze in 2020. The World Championships so last year finished Area third, got a bronze there. Sudirman also got a third place bronze in the Sudirman Cup oh, last year. Asian okay. Championships also a bronze in 2018. Asian Team Championships a silver medal in 2020. As a former gold medalist at the World Junior Championships in 2013. First meeting between these pairs, primarily because neither one of them play together. You won't really see much of a, a ranking, as it were. Kong Hee Yong has won seven World Tour titles with Kim So Yong and her long term partner. This is Kim Hai Jong. 24, 161 centimeters tall, 139. The current ranking of these two. From Masan, her highest ranking is uh, 27. And that was in May. Right now, actually, the current ranking. Kong Hee Yong is 25, 166 centimeters tall. Third place is Dae Jeon. Uh, her highest ranking is uh, Kim So Yong. And that's the ranking from December 2021. These two did not play together in either of the two matches. Uh, of course, they just mixed it up a little bit. Kim So Young is here, by the way. Tanisha Krasto is 19, 167 centimeters tall. Birthplace is Dubai. I'll tell you more about that in a while. Her highest ranking is 158 with the partner, Amanda. Her normal partner. Teresa Jolly is 18 from the south in Kerala. 164 centimeters tall. Her normal partner is Gautri Gopichan Kulela. And yes, if you're wondering, that is the daughter of. That is 34 in the world. And uh, Gautri Gopichan is here. Just mixing things up. Uh, they have been playing together here in the tournament. They've won both their matches against Choi and Lee of Canada. Ready to play. And Corbett and Lee of the United States. Uh, 
Ali as the umpire. Now the service judge, Reza Russian Omid. States. Neither one of these two were involved. Ladies and gentlemen, and Lee Yu Lim. on my right, India, represented by Krasto, Tanisha, and Jalad Triza. And on my left, Korea, represented by Ko, Hiro, and Kim Yojo. India to serve, Tanisha Castro, Dupin, New York. Love all. It was interesting because Kim and Kong, play. the Kim and Kong, Kim So Young and Kong Hee Young did play against Canada, against Hundrick and Sai, and actually they take it to three in that one. Serve is over. One, love. As a pair, this was their first match together. Young was a former Olympic gold One, medalist. Two. Father Kim Bun Shik is a badminton coach. Out. Kim So Young, what a Service great over. player she was back in the day, winning the gold, the first ever Olympics that One. had badminton. She was inducted into the Badminton Hall of Fame in 2003. So Kim Hai Jong is aspiring to be. So good start here for Kim and Kong. Good court coverage there by Kong. Got the far corner. Get the feeling that Kim and Kong, the, act, the actual Kim and Kong, will get unleashed in the knockouts onwards. So three matches to come if they want to go all the way. Such a strong women's lineup here, career. Oh! Nice to by Crasto. So Crasto was born in Dubai. Represented Bahrain for a while. Oh, the doubles event of the 2016 Bahrain International Challenge with playing with Apilasi Putri Variella, who was born in Indonesia, played for Turkey, and then represented Bahrain. Age. 
also won the, won the WA Open tournament, when she was just 14. So she really made a name for herself back then as a youngster. Still only 19, just turned 19. In fact, just a few days ago. Missed that one. Six, five. <laughs> Looked, looks on favourite to make that shot. over the net the Indians Seven, have a two-point lead here good work looking on a bit of a roll good from them. Actually make that seven points in a row they've had. They were one five down. <laughs> they will take that Kim will a bit of luck there off the net. But um, seven points in a row is the best run Six. any Indian player or pair has had today. That's what they need. These sort of good runs, experienced players. Putting on a bit of a run themselves here, the Koreans, and they're now level. Taking the lead, it's usually not the interval time that we start to go awry, as we've seen in the previous matches. Yeah, together. Service over. That's something that has to be taken advantage of, of course. about everyone matches together in the sort of international tournament scenarios in the past they have worked together this year they have 10 9 up here 10, nine. 20 wins and 11 losses as a pair Kim and Kong the Koreans who have that two-point lead now going into the break. Uh, 
That lead extends to three now. Nine. Slowly getting into the groove, aren't they? Kim and Kong. to just one point, 11, Jolly and Crasto. Umpire, Cody Leach from New USA, Sudeep Rale from India. Oh, that was well done, down the line. Just wrong First footing Crasto there, temporarily. She did recover, but... Too late by then. Ready? So joining the Indian national team in 2021, participating in the Uber Sudirman Cups. This year, with uh, Michelle Butler and mixed doubles. Umpire, Eric Devers from Canada. Celestia, Haida Dinsu from France. Yeah, certainly more of a mixed doubles player these days rather than a mixed doubles player. That's one the Adisha Open this year with Gayatri Gopichand. That was the Super 100 tournament. Oh, yeah, really doing quite okay here actually at the moment. We've gone up at the Adisha Open mixed doubles, uh, Teresa Jolly with uh, Amar Arjun. Aims straight across though. She can't really do too much with that. 15, 13. Good work from Kong.
That lead up to three. Presto and Jolly need to peg that back soon if they want to stay in this game. Comfortable up there, Kim and Kong. In a good position here to wrap up game one. <laughs> Into that corner. And they're looking good now. these points. around a bit more. That's going to be out. That's what the Kim and Kong will be doing so well. Pushing their opponents. Difficult position. Seven, six game points now for Kim and Kong. that first game after a little bit of a shaky start. It was good work from Crosto and Jolly. They had a seven-point run at one stage. They couldn't sustain it. Kim Con game good after the interval. And they the other five in a row at one stage and started to really get the zone. They've won that first game then quite comfortably. 21-14 in 17 minutes. Service line, of course, no matter how how high or flat or whatever it's coming, you can't react when, when, when you're this close to the net. You need to take a step back and then position yourself towards it. When you catch it and you feel it's, this is not nothing in it, you just get it under the yeah. tape so you keep stressing them. And then we have that situation where we can do that. One time we've had that situation where we uh, push, push, so net player comes out, put pressure, then we score the points. So we need more. Yeah. Court two, 20 seconds. For two twenty seconds.
Well, you heard the coach there saying that I think Crusto is a little too close to the court, uh, to the net. And she needs to take a little step back. Oh, she's not giving herself enough room and space to take on shots. Very little margin for error there. Let's see if that works out for her in the second game. A little too far back, perhaps. Too long. Just dropped it nicely, didn't she? Kim. Try to force the issue there. So he's over. A little long. Three, one. Coach to play their shots. Maybe coach. There you go. A shot of him. It's a long rally so far in this second game. 23 shots. that one Kong. So her age started off well from the young, so I played Babington in 2005. She was uh, nine years old. After the teacher had suggested it. Five, two. So it's her career. This is Ah. The most memorable sporting achievement, Asian Championships. Seven finals, the most memorable match. Bronze medal there, 2018. Wow. It has gone out. Six, two. And now they've got a four point lead here, the Koreans. And we've said that build up that kind of lead or a little bit more than this it starts to get really difficult so they have put on the best run of points by any Indian player or pair today across so jolly that's seven in a row earlier
Good recovery. That's Tenny Rally. The longest one they've had in game two, and the Koreans win that one. So take a five point lead. And one point. Cole's on the ground. It's lost a footing, that's why they're just mopping up that area. Imposing already early on. Ready? Four points in a row for the Koreans in this current run. Make that five. Ten, three. Yeah, this is a good, good lead. They're well set, aren't they? At the interval then, very, very well done from the Koreans. They have taken an eight-point lead here and they're on a roll. It's going to be hard work now for the Indians. They've got to work really hard after the interval. Exquisitely done there from Kim. And this is an extremely good period for the Koreans. The lead now is eight. Preston and Jolly are in trouble. and Jolly right now. They haven't been able to take consecutive points yet in this second game. 
Let's see if they can break that now. drop from Jolly and they have indeed managed to get a couple of points here much better from the Indians but is it too late shot there from Crasto and this is Seven, a nice little fight back but you know, a lot more and that's come from Concerned. India. Finally break the points. Well, India Four. challenging that. Out. And uh, let's see how that turns out. Out that one, isn't it? Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service so over. 16. So the lead is now eight. eight. Play. Oh, that's close, but they're not going to challenge. Fight back from the Indians since the interval. So he's over. Seven six points nine. since then. Good point there for Jolly and Crasto. Just trying to peg back this lead. It's uh, probably not going to be enough. Well, let's see. So seven points, the gap, but it's uh, a very good second half fight back here in this game from the Indians. Eight points they've accrued since then. 
They're actually outscoring their opponents. 8-7. Probably in vain, you would think. Unless something quite special happens here. Not just like that. It's wayward from Jolly. going to be nine match points here for the Koreans. And they've done it, Kim and Kong. They've won this one again quite comfortably. And they're really happy about that, aren't they? Look at them they're celebrating. It was a good fight back from the Indians in game two after the interval when they were in really dire straits. They were 11, 3 11 down at the interval, but it wasn't to be enough. And it's yet another win for Korea. Kim Hai Jong and Kong Hee Yong beat Tanisha Kraster and Teresa Jolly. 21 14, 21 11 in 35 minutes. And that means India, oh sorry, excuse me, Korea 4-0 up in this tie, and it leaves us with one final match to come. We do have a singles match to come. Sim Yujin versus Ashwita Chaliha. Do stay with us. So here we go then, the final singles, Sim Yu Jin versus Ashmita Chaliha with Korea 4-0 up in this tie. And let's see if they can get a clean sweep out of this one. They were very, very good. Straight games, clean sweep so far. Can Sim Yu Jin complete it all here against Ashmita Chaliha? The single Korea represented by Shim Yu Jin. So 
Sim Eugene is first up. Versus India, represented by Ashmita Shaliha. And then Ashmita Shaliha will be out next. There she is. Umpire Philip Yongshi from the USA. Service Judd, Roberto Tommy Oscariano from Indonesia. at the uh, Korean team. Sim Yoon Jin is the third ranked singles player in their squad for this tournament. Same with Asmita Chaliha. Train at the Assam Badminton Academy. Indonesian coach Edward Irawan. South Asian Games, a couple of gold medals in both women's singles and the women's team event. Nice meeting between these two players. Let's find out a bit more about them. She's from the capital Seoul, Sim Yun Jin, 22 years of age, 172 centimeters tall. 46th in the world, her highest is just above that, 45. So she's uh, played in both the matches against Tali Ung of uh, Canada. She won that one in three, so that was a tough one. Lost the first game, 11-21. And uh, Esther Shi, she won uh, fairly comfortably in just over half an hour. Wow. Ashmita Chaliha is uh, 22 years of age from Guwahati in the east of India. 64th in the world. And the highest is 60th. For a couple months ago. Also played both those matches against Canada, where she beat Rachel Chan in three, 50 minutes, and then an easier time against Nathaji in about half an hour. Was coached by Pilela Gopachand for the Asian Games and part of the national junior team that completed the competed in the 2017 World and Asian Junior Championships. Philip Ayong Chi is our American umpire. Ready to play. And the service judge is Roberto Tommy Escariano. He's also played in the Asian Games in 2018. Won the first senior title in the 2018 Dubai International Challenge. And also won at the Tata Open India International, both in 2018. Again. There's one more Norwegian International back in 2018, not anything since. Runners up at the Mongolian International Challenge in 2019. Over Korea, Sim has uh, played 119 Ladies matches, 70 wins, 49 right, defeats. Korea, represented by Sim Yu Jin. And on my left, India, represented by Ashvita Chalia. Korea to serve level play. Over one, love. We're 
down far away in the rankings. This is probably the closest in terms of rankings, apart from not so young and PV Sindhu, of course. An opportunity perhaps for Asmita. points and really shook Sindhu in that one. It was tenacious, I have to say. Played really well, but only lost that game. 21. Four, two. We got to the semi-finals of the Adisha Open before moving there to touch them out. Asia Team Championships won both of her matches. Her team lost in the group Five, stages. Two. Swiss Open, she was a wild card. We the second round before losing to number eight seed Kirsty Gilmore. We had a first round exit at the All Your Masters. Sydney Jin already with a four point lead though. Six. Uh, Kelly has won 42 of her 62 matches. Decent start to her career. And this year alone, eight wins out of 12 matches. Seven, two. Sorted out. Service over seven three. get it too far beyond that. Matches. 
done well to keep it to just two now. Yeah, pretty much she lost the opening round as well to Wang Ziyi. Lost to India Sananewa in three in the opening round. Service over, nine, six. Good power from Mashmita. Service over seven nine. Looking to keep her opponent restricted here. the Seven interval. interval sim has a four point lead she's taken first half of the 11 7. So now, can Sim build on this platform? India challenges all out. It's a challenge here from Ashmita. Versus Germany, Eric Sinton Bar, for a team Chelsea. Very, very clearly out. Unpar, Charlie Scugani from India. One challenge for Maru Lai from Indonesia. Twelve, seven, five. Play. Just inside, lovely shot from Sim. Service over, 13, eight. That's a good run of points here already, Sim. Eight. And quick rallies as well. She's not hanging about. Eight. 
service over 9.15. Looked out. Service over sixteen nine. Yeah, that was there for the taking. Great cross cross court smash. 17, and the lead nine. is now eight points. Real problem, CFR Schmita, to stay in this game. Out. Service over. 10, 17. Trying to go for something similar. 11, 17. Sim, but uh, didn't make it work. Shmita's been very proactive on the court. Oh, very athletic. Service over. But unfortunately. 18, 11. She's conceded that point, and it's. Sim now just three away from wrapping up his first game. Well, I said she was athletic, but Sim has got her moving all over the court. 19, it's worth 11. a treat. for Ashmita. 12-19. Seven points to throw back. Really has to get as close to 19 as possible if she can, Ashmita. Because once Sim hits 20, of course, there is no margin for error on game point. Eugene, Eugene. Nicely done. And that is game point. So now it's a very, very difficult task for Ashmita. Game point. India really having one eye on the quarterfinals and really how they're going to regroup for that one. Korea, in a buoyant mood, really must Versus feel so Indonesia, confident. There will be a draw, of course, for the quarterfinals later. Thirteen twenty. It's almost all done now, the, the Uber Cup. Oh, nicely done there by Osmita. The yeah, groups uh, 14, 20. A and C, oh, sorry, A and D have yet to be completed. This is Group D with Korea and India in it. A is uh, played at the moment next door. Looks like Japan. 
to put his top there. So, 15, 20. A couple of points here for Ashmita. That'll be enough. It looks like Korea will have avoided Japan and China and Thailand, which is perfect as far as they're concerned. Oh, brilliant shot. That arguably could be the shot of the match so far. Ashmita has played that perfectly. Watch this. Another opponent stretching in despair. Now, is there a little bit of pressure here? Four in a row from Ashmita. Make that five. Now she still has three points to play with here, Sim. This is similar to what Ashmita did with uh, PB Sindhu. He looked like Sindhu was on the brink of victory. Had a huge margin. Ashmita battled and battled away, didn't give up. Got to, to, in the end, lost 1821. Versus USA, represented by. In the end, though, another point. And now, surely the pressure will be beginning to tell on Sim. Six in a row for Ashmita. Dare she dream now? This would be incredible. Oh dear, what a way to end it. In the first game, first losing game a footing. Korea, and she probably would have got there. 18. But what a fight back. Got to give her plenty of credit, Ashmita. So unlucky. I think it was a left foot that gave way. But a stirring fight, and that's a, a real inspiration for her going into the next game. Because she gave her opponent an almighty fright there. But in the end, Sinujin wins 21-18 in 18 minutes. Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Well, that is the highest points accrued by any Indian player or pair today, 18. So she should be proud of herself there, Shmita. Just go back to what I was saying earlier, and uh, it looks like Japan, China, Thailand and Korea will be the seed of pairs. Second game That's who of India all will be probably facing. Play. Second place finishes will be India, Denmark, Chinese Taipei and Indonesia. Oh, great shot from Indonesia. That's the kind of confidence she plays with. One, love. Look at this. Not enough lift on that. Difficult to get that over Sim. Ah! 
to love. So after these round of matches, all the Uber Cup group stage ties are done. the quarterfinals. For the silver, one, two. For the Uber Cup, there'll be three in the morning and one in the afternoon. Yeah. Well, second Service session. over, three, one. Start here, isn't it, for Sim? Four, one. to a 6-1 start here, race to it. Very good from Sim. After that scare, she probably doesn't want to go through that again. She's going to challenge it anyway. I think that's a out. bit optimistic, that challenge. Believe it. In. That is a good challenge. Service over seven two. Oh, say, it didn't look like it, did it? Play. It's on a four point roll at the moment. Oh. Uh, not working for uh, Ashmita. Is going in towards the end of the first game. Nine, two. Seven points now, the gap. This is a concern for Ashmita. Well taken down the line. Big lead now for the Korean. been sucked out of Ashmita, showing a lot of it towards the end of the last game, didn't she? Well, maybe I spoke too soon there because that's a lovely. Over. We're going to drop that Three, from that. Ten. There's PV Sindhu. Senior player this side by a long shot. Oh. 
Guard there, Sim. Five, a couple of ten. very good points here for Ashmita. <laughs> now, can she show those qualities that she showed in the previous game? Good work from Ashmita. earlier four in a row or five in a row now I should say this is similar this is great work isn't it for my sweet that it was so comfortable for Sim Eugene six in a row from Ashmita all of a sudden Nine, she's just turned ten. it on like she did towards the end of the last game remember she was 10-2 up Simujin but eventually Nine, she eight. gets to 11 and maybe that interval's come at a good moment for her because Ashmita once again has shown she has got those battling qualities. is right on her tail now. Simu Jin will be kicking herself. How on earth did she... Wow. So just for one of points. 10-2 up. Now they're all square. This is really quite remarkable from Ashmita. Not gonna 
let that happen. Here, yeah, that would be quite something, wouldn't it? A good psychological blow to Sim if Ashmita can do that. Very, very good. Out. Sim is going to challenge that. If she is not successful, Ashmita will take a stunning lead here. It's been a nine-point swing now, where Ashmita was 2-10 down and is now 13-12 up. 13-12 play. Won 11 of the last 13 points. Okay, 11 out of 14 now. Remarkable. Desperately needed those kind of winners, didn't she? Sim, after what's happened. 14, 13. And she's now back in front. Oh. Is that in? I think it is. Oh, but. Korea challenges. She is challenging. Two in. challenges in quick succession. Or Sim. Again, not so sure. Let's see. It is in indeed. Challenge unsuccessful. No, no challenges, challenges left. remaining. Service owner. Oh. Well, no doubt about that one. I can't believe it. Service over. Service over. Service over. 15, 14. That was too easy, wasn't it? Flash me tap. Service over. 15. Oh. Service over. Not enough height on that. Very easy to put away. Nothing in this. That is a good shot. So a few very good winners from Sim. Service over. 16. 15. Which will give her a lot of confidence after the knock she would have taken in that first half. Yeah. Just keeping that pressure right up. Not letting up at all. This one, this final match, perhaps going to a third. But it's been plain sailing pretty much for Korea throughout. Thank you. Six 
by Ashmita. Very clearly in. An important point there for... Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Sim now. Has the edge. 17. 16. Oh. Oh. There's a last lock. Oh. Oh, matching each other. Oh. Excellent. Whipping it back quickly from Sim. Service over. 18, 17. Took the chance. Well presented. Perfect height for wasn't it, in the slot. Three away from finishing this off, Sim Yunjin. A loose shot, 19, isn't it, from uh, Ashmita. And that really has given Sim the advantage. Sprawling there. Again, a footing, just letting it down. And three match points for Sim. Already, I will tell you that Ashmita has could I could get more points than anyone else today. So, can Sim finish us off, or we're we going to get another scare for from Ashmita? 20, 17. Oh, she's done it brilliantly. Sim has ended it well, but boy, has she been given two big scares, one in either game from Ashmita Chaliha, who has Korea, been tenacious 18, and shown battling qualities, 17. excellent battling qualities. Reeling off seven in a row in game one to really push Sim. And then seven in a row in game two when she was eight in a row. In fact, she was... 2-10 down at one point and really pushed her opponent. But Sim wins this one. And beats Ashmita Chaliha 21-18, 21-17 in 38 minutes. And that means that Korea have done the clean sweep on India. They've gone one better than they did the last time that they met in 2010. It was 4-1 then. It is 5-0 today. And uh, let's just sum that up for you. We had the blockbuster clash at the start with Anse Young beating Pusala V. Sindhu for the fifth time in a row, 21-15, 21-14 in 42 minutes. Then in the doubles, Lee Sohi and Shin Seung Chan defeating Shruti Mishra and Simran Singhi, 21-13, 21-12. In the second singles, Kim Ga Un versus uh, Akashi Kashyap. That's Probably the most one-sided match we had so far. Just half an hour, Kim won it, 21-10, 21-10. The second doubles, Kim Hai Jong and Kong Hee Yong were playing Tanisha Krasto and Teresa Jolly. And they won that 21-14, 21-11 in 36 minutes. And then probably the most, uh, the closest match we've had so far where Sim Yu Jin beat Ashmita Chalia after a 
Great fight back, though. And that ended 21-18, 21-17 in 39 minutes. A clean sweep then for Korea. They win 5-0 here against India. They top Group D in style, having won 14 out of uh, 14 matches there, as you can see. Only dropping one match along the way. Look at all those games. Only dropping four games in total against India, Canada, and the United States. But Korea and India will go through. Korea will be seeded for the quarterfinal. India finished second. So that is it for now here on court two. We will have Thomas Cup action uh, in about an hour's time. It'll be Chinese Taipei against India. It's a men in the Thomas Cup.